This sound is just amazing. What's up guys, good morning and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm in Monaco for the Formula One week, but before we start with the vlog, let me show you one of the craziest hotel rooms I've ever had. This hotel room is actually the best in the entire hotel. Let me show you guys. Access granted. Here you have stairs to the actual bedroom, means it's a duplex. So you have a nice little washroom over there. Here you have the view on uh, the sea. When we walk out of the balcony, you see the whole city of Monaco. And guys, actually, we will drive now to this point over there to see the qualifying of the Formula One and to see the race tomorrow from the yard. Let's continue the room tour. Let's go upside, guys. Are you ready? This is the bedroom. Here we have a walk-in closet, which I'm actually way too lazy to use. I don't have time to put all my clothes here properly. But here I have a suit because I was on the Cannes Film Festival. And fun fact, I just bought a suit for this festival because I didn't have a suit. I live in Dubai. I walk around in shorts all day, every day. But let's check out the bathroom. So you enter the bathroom, you have a bathtub, this amazing huge gigantic mirror. Here we have a toilet and here we have a nice rain shower, which I tried this morning, as you can see. Monte Carlo. And for all the girls out there, this is probably the dream for you. Sitting here, doing your makeup, looking at this view. It's 10 a.m. right now and you can already see and hear all the Formula One race cars. Let me show you. So right over there in the corner, you can see the race cars cruising along. So guys, I'm now getting transported uh, from this amazing hotel to the harbor. Because honestly, guys, it's quite impossible to find a cab. So basically, you need to walk. I don't have time for that. That's why I got this amazing tender and this amazing dude over there who's willing to drive just me alone in the whole boat to the harbor. Let's do that. Guys, this is, this is a pretty rough journey. It's so fun. So that was actually just a five minute drive from uh, the hotel to the yard because Monaco is actually just a tiny piece of nothing on the map. All right guys, so we just reached the harbor and he's gonna drop me now here. Yep. Thank you no so problem. much. No problem. Thank you. This is our yard from outside. Super, super nice. And of course, there are no shoes allowed on yards, so I'm gonna remove them. Let's try to get there safe. Good morning. So she, she's the most amazing chef on the yard in the world. <laughs> so I, I guess I, I skipped breakfast, right? But I had breakfast at, at the hotel, so it's fine. I had amazing breakfast we at the hotel. I had breakfast. breakfast. Thank you so much. Probably soon. Lunch. Uh, probably soon? Probably. Nice. Not soon, but we will maybe lunch at one point. Nice. Excited. Good morning. So this guy is the oh, captain, good. the yeah. captain of the, the yard. How did you sleep? Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah? Not enough. Never enough. <laughs> Not enough? Uh, yeah, I, I slept amazing, actually. I just came with the yard, uh, with a boat oh, okay. from the hotel here. Awesome. It's so close. It's just like yeah. seven minutes. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing. So because with the taxi, it's impossible. So now you find a way to go quickly in the hotel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Yo. good morning. Hey. Good morning. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm very good. How did you sleep on the boat? Extremely on the yacht? Well. Yeah? Well. How did you sleep, Da Vinci? Oh, very well. Like a yeah. baby. You did? Mm -hmm. Nice shirt, man. Thanks. Yeah. It's so nice. It's a new collection. Yeah? Nobody else has it. So, I won't exclusively, be exclusively <laughs> exactly. made exactly. for Da Vinci. Exactly. <laughs> So, Dom Perignon in the morning? Yes, exactly. <laughs> As you can hear, the Formula One drivers are already practicing. Here are hundreds of people, also here on the balconies, everywhere. And here you can see what's actually going on. The qualifying race is over. Who won? Uh, I don't know. Charles Leclerc, he won and everyone went crazy, all the yards. Would you recommend to come here? Uh, if you're a huge fan, yeah, then for sure. 
Um, otherwise, I guess it's better to watch on TV. Directly, yeah. So it's a nice um, feeling because you see the cars. Yeah. But I think tomorrow will be insane. Tomorrow, tomorrow is a complete. Every different balcony level. here. Will yeah. Be, uh, uh, will be this will be completely packed. <laughs> Am I the first one ordering a sparkling water no, no. in the Red Bull? No, no. But I would also take a Red Bull sugar free if it's sure. possible. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thanks, right, man. Thank you so much. All right, guys, done with the dinner. Some friends just invited us over to a mega yacht. It's a 50 meter uh, long yacht, and we had to drive with a speedboat to reach it, actually. Otherwise, it's impossible to get here. So we are out here in the bay of uh, Monaco so you see it's quite far away and check out this insane top of the art that's crazy that's insane yeah. check it out private gym yeah. Whoa, heavy man if you had this yacht you would never have to leave it there's literally everything on the yacht yeah true good morning guys good morning good morning it is race day the race is about to start in two minutes actually and as you can see it just started to rain actually it just started by the minute so it's gonna be an interesting race the streets are wet and yeah let's see how the race goes everything is soaking wet but the vibe is crazy today everyone is ready we're gonna sit up there and of course we can hear as the cars are driving by it's gonna be insane it's quite boring to watch the race in the yard so yeah. Benji and me yeah we decided to go to this curve and in this curve where we go right now Mick Schumacher just crashed uh, seven minutes ago yeah. it was pretty bad actually the car oh. crashed into two pieces two. but he was not hurt yeah no sound is just amazing. Good morning in the morning guys. An amazing race weekend in Monaco uh, finds its end. I'm here in a crazy, crazy party restaurant. Uh, actually, I thought it's just a chill um, chill restaurant but it turned out to be a day club let's call it like that we have crazy actors formula one drivers everything is packed with crazy people to be very honest the last days here in monaco were quite tough i wasn't sleeping a lot but it was packed with fun and adventure and everything and yeah we are here chilling at the restaurant and then we go actually to another yard which is quite exciting it's a little bit bigger than the one we had in Monaco. We're gonna sleep there for one night and then we fly back to Dubai. Let's not talk too much, let's go back to the restaurants. I want to show you some clips. It's it's insane. <laughs> the vibes in these restaurants are just insane. Let me show you guys. For the yard party's over let's see if i can get this luggage on the tender boat go on the boat i, I will get you are you serious yeah jump okay be, be careful on the side sir it's slippery <laughs> got it got it thank you so much wow this guy is strong this guy is strong What's up? Thank you. Bro, take a look at the scenery, man. Insane. It looks like a Mac wallpaper or something. Yes. Wow. Beef, chicken, mushroom sauce, potatoes. Dinner is ready. Sunday roast in the Monday. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I took a quick shower to feel fresh again. Actually, tonight I slept maybe two hours because we went to a nice club yesterday. Maybe I can 
do one or two clips here. Yeah, as you can see, this yard is quite spectacular. A yard like this for three days in Monaco to watch the Formula One race would be probably a million euros just to rent it, um, from what I know. So, uh, yeah, that's quite a lot. But yeah, my friends rented this yard just to uh, cruise around the Côte d'Azur. And Carl and me, we will just uh, stay for two days. But let's not waste any time. And let me show you the yard a little bit. So when you come with the tender boat, you come up here and you already see how huge, 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 huge this yard is. I guess this yard is approximately 50 meter long. And as you can see, we have huge living room space. It goes up to the, the bedrooms, um, to the uh, terrace and stuff. What do we have here? A really nice cozy living area. Mini bar. Wow. dining area this yard is something different honestly i mean guys who has even a living room in this size at home let's go up and check out the terrace i think my friends are partying a little bit up there yeah you can clearly get lost in this yard this is the master bedroom the master cabin of carl of course, he got the real deal. So as you can see, he has a insane suite. Look guys, here you can enter on your private terrace. This is only for this bedroom. I think we're actually moving. The yard seems to move. Actually, I don't know where we go, but let's see. All right, let me show you guys my bedroom for tonight so i was already here i as you can see these are two beds i just i'm just using one bed to put my luggage because otherwise i don't have any space i was traveling for the last 10 14 days my luggage is a complete mess fortunately i had the chance to uh, wash and iron my shirts because I didn't bring enough clothes. So this bedroom is uh, meant to be for two person. It's quite big, even though it's uh, the smallest bedroom on board, but it's quite big. So it's completely fine for me. And let me show you guys the rest of the room. Here we have some storage and this amazing bathroom. So as you can see guys, everything is super modern and clean. And look at that. Look at this little detail here. And here we have a nice rain shower. Very nice. All right guys, now I'm going to edit the vlog in this amazing, crazy huge uh, living area on the yard. Once again, check this out, this is insane. And actually guys, what I'm not proud of is that I didn't train for 10 days. That's insane. But at the end of the day, it's all about priorities. And I guess I didn't train because I put the focus on experiencing stuff, on uh, working hard, on uh, meeting people, having fun and stuff like this. Just wanted to be transparent because I know uh, that a lot of you guys know that I'm um, normally working out every day. But on vacation, I find excuses. All right, guys, that was the vlog. Uh, let's wrap this up here. Uh, I'm insanely tired. Actually, I don't even know when to cut this vlog because I have literally zero time to cut my own content because I'm so busy cutting content of others. But when you saw this video, I made some time and if you guys appreciate that just subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any further videos and yeah I will go sleep now peace out see you in the next one bye bye